Luke 10, 17 to 20. And the 70 written again with joy, saying, Lord, even devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said, I beheld sadness lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to treat on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Luke 10, 41, 42. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art being cared and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful. Mary has chosen good part, which shall not be taken away from her. Luke eleven thirteen. If ye then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Luke 12, 4 to 12, and I said to my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do, but I will forewarn you to whom you shall fear. Fear him which after he had killed had power to cast out into hell. Yeah, I say unto you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two fat things, and not one of them is forgotten before God, but even the very hairs of your head all number. Fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Also I say unto you, whoso ever shall confess me before man him shall the son of man also confess them before the angels of God but he that denieth me before man shall be denied before the angels of God and whosoever shall speak a word against the son of man it shall be forgiven unto him but unto him that blasphemeth against the Holy Ghost it shall not be forgiven and when they bring you out his synagogues and magistrates and powers take ye no thought how or what he shall answer or what he shall say for the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour what he had to say. Luke 13, 2, 3, and Jesus answering said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galatians were sinners of all Galatians, because they suffered such things, I tell you nay, except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Luke 14, 25 to 30, there went great multitudes with him, and he turned and said unto them, if any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you, intending to build a tower, sitteth not down first and counteth the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it? Lest happily, after he hath laid the foundation, and is not able to finish it, all that behold, it began to mock him, saying, This man began to build, and is not able to finish. Luke 15, 11 to 20. And he said, A certain man had two sons. And the anger of them said his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that fall to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the anger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with rudest living. And when he had spent all there, arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with the hacks that swine did eat, and no man gave one to him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hate servants of my father have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hungry. I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I will no more what you be called thy son, and make me as one of the hate servants. And he arose and came to his father, but when he was at a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Luke 16, 19 to 24. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fair sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate, full of sores and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores, and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom, and the rich man also died and was buried. 
and in hell he lifted up his eyes. Being in torment, he seeth Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. Luke 17, 32 to 37. Remember Lot's life, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. I tell you, in a night there shall be two men in one bed, the one shall be taken, and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together, the one shall be taken, and the, and the other left. Two men shall be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is tighter, will eagles be gathered together. Luke 18, 18 to 30. And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? None is good, say one that is God. Though no is the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother. And he said, All this how I kept my youth up. Now when Jesus heard these things, he said unto him, At like as though one thing, sell all that thou hast, and distribute unto the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. And when he heard this, he was very sorrowful, for he was very rich. And when Jesus saw that he was very sorrowful, he said, How holy shall they that have riches to enter into the kingdom of God? For it is easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And they that heard it said, Who then can be saved? And he said, The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Then Peter said, Lo, we have left all and followed thee. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that hath left house or parents or brethren or wife or children for the kingdom of God's sake, who shall not receive manifold more in this present time and in the world to come life everlasting.